Hello and welcome back to Collection Log Completionist, the series where I attempt to fill in a lot of slots in the collection log. In this video, we do get at least one pretty cool collection log slot, I can promise you that much. I hope you all enjoy. It has been a very long time since I have ventured into these caves where Gluff's experiments lie. I have 2,568 kills at the Demonic Gorillas, and unfortunately, I have never received a heavy frame. So that's what I'd like to go for. I don't know exactly how long I'm going to stay, but we'll stay here for a little while, as long as I'm having fun. It is 1 in 1,500 for this thing, so we're almost at two times the drop rate, and maybe... Just maybe we can get some Zenite shards along the way and make some cash. So Demonics are going really, really well, but not truly for the reason that I intended. I've gotten two Elite Clues so far. We've killed 123. No unique drops, but we have gotten two Elite Clues, a Hard Clue, and true and the uh, Dragon Fruit Tree Seed Drop, which I think is pretty rare. We also got Spirit Seeds and Use Seeds and Redwood Tree Seeds. I mean, you could look at the drop table yourself. The seeds are incredibly rare, so we're getting some really rare drops. Uh, not the ones we're looking for, but I mean, we're making money and we're getting clue scrolls, so that's good. Ah, uh, yes, the Dragon's Eye Step of Elite Clues. Simply walk all the way to the Dagonoth King's boss room as if you're going to do a task, <laughs> and then just dig, and then you leave. It's so funny. Oh, yes, that's what I wanted. Oh, my gosh. Zen Knight Shard, baby. That is fantastic. Oop, my mic's falling over. I hope the quality's not too bad. That's what we were looking for on this grind. There is about 12 million gold for us. Oh, nothing feels better than getting a Zenite. I just love that subtle off orange shade. There's our second roll on the drop table, and it's a drop that is only worth picking up to Alk, and I don't have inventory space to Alk yet. So there's the Ballista Limbs. Just going to leave that there on the ground because no. No, 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 dude. We got a monkey tail. That's the other 1 in 1500 drop that we've already gotten. Oh, that is so tragic. I, I could cry, but I won't. I'm a big boy. I'm not going to cry about this. Everything's going to be okay. No, seriously, this is actually a little upsetting. But, you know, it is what it is. And we're slowly closing in on 3,000 kill count, which is 2x the drop rate, which is a good place to leave it off at, in my opinion. And then I think I'll just, I'll just come back here sporadically. Whenever I feel like doing demonics, whenever I feel like making good money, this is where I'll be. Oh, that was really nice. I actually got enough prayer potion drops to go for the whole 40-minute trip at the Demonics that time. So I just, I'm just very curious. Let's price check what a non-unique average trip at Demonics looks like in the price checker. I mean, it's still almost 700,000 gold, and the supply cost here is very, very low. I think I average with the kills per hour I'm getting. I make about 3 mil per hour just from the Zenites. And if I can make this in 40 minutes, uh, you could get better luck with the drops, too. These weren't amazing luck this trip. Uh, you could probably make over 4 mil an hour here, not even on task. These guys are still insane money. Time to add Celastra Seed to my seed collection from Demonics. I'm pretty sure I've gotten every single rare seed that you can get from these guys in the past, you know, God knows how many hours I've been here. But yeah, building up a nice collection. It's going to look good. Well, there's a first for everything, they say, folks. And this is the first time that I've ever alked my Divine Super Combat and cut my trip short by 20 minutes. <laughs> That hurts a little bit. But real quick, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Factor. Factor is a service that delivers fresh, ready-made meals straight to your doorstep that are never frozen and designed to be packed with science-backed nutritional quality. The thing I like the most about Factor is that the food is pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes or less, making it even more convenient than going out to get food or ordering in. Not only that, but they have a rotating weekly menu of over 27 meal options and over 33 add-ons to keep variety in your meals. Also, since these meals are designed to be healthy, it makes it easy to hit your daily goals nutritionally with without all of the added stress of meal planning or extensive prepping, which is great for people who have busy lifestyles or just want some extra time to do what they actually want to do. Another great thing about Factor is that they fit your lifestyle quite easily. If you have a diet preference like vegan, vegetarian, keto, you want to have low calorie or more protein in your diet, it's super easy. You just select one of these options or multiple. If you'd like, you can also increase or reduce the amount of meals per week that you want with it anytime you want. And it's very easy to skip a week if you don't need it or modify your food preferences at any time if you want. So use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use code POGGUIDES, D-E-C-60, for 60% 60 off your first box. You'll also be supporting the channel by doing this, so if you do, I appreciate it very much. Thank you once again to Factor for sponsoring the video. Let's get back into things. And I think that is our last demonic gorilla. We are out of supplies for this trip. Let me just grab this prayer potion. You know, every little bit of GP counts. Let's check the collection log, and we have passed... 3,000 demonic gorilla kills with no heavy frame. Sad. 
Very sad game. I'll be coming back here, though. Don't worry. This log is going to be green one day, I swear. And we'll catch up on Zenite Shards. We only got 7 and 3,000. We should have, like, 10. But you won't hear me complain, and we'll make it through this. I'm just chilling and doing a little bit more cone art, and I'm going to make a decision that, honestly, past me would have never done. But current me is going to do it. I'm going to unblock worms for two reasons. One, worms is actually a pretty good task for brimstone keys, and it actually makes you a little bit of money, and it's decent. It's pretty quick. And partially because I keep getting steel dragons, and this task is, like, unusually common from Konar. I have no idea why. I'm going to block steel dragons. I would have never recommended this to anyone else, but if you're just doing Konar, just block steel dragons. It's horrible, man. And finally, Jagex has fixed the Tombs of a Masket Elite Combat Achievements, and a bunch of the other ones were bugged as well, but I don't know if I'm a gamer enough to go for Master or Grandmaster quite yet. I'll probably go for Master eventually. Grandmaster, I don't know, I shudder to think about trying that. But anyways, I'm going to now go and try to finish all of the TOA Elite achievements and then begrudgingly probably try to find a group for TOB because, I mean, it's only like nine TOB runs. I could do this. Look at it, it actually worked. I'm in a rush and no skipping allowed. Oh, I'm so happy that I'm not crazy. I thought I was doing it wrong the whole time, but there we go. They are complete, and now all that we have left that we can actually do solo because I am going to have to wait for Dave for two of them because you actually need to have a group of two and a group of two the only one I could do solo is defeat the wardens after staggering the boss a maximum of twice which is really easy that's just the standard way of doing TOA so I'm just gonna do a normal expert run probably and that should be the task for the two down unless I have to like finish the whole raid and then it counts maybe any second now Jagex please you're making me anxious you're making me anxious it didn't pop I guess I have to finish the whole raid. Okay, yeah, you just have to finish the entire raid. We also completed two Master Combat tasks. Honestly, have no idea what they were for, but it looks like, according to the TOA calculator, we have about a 4% chance to get this reward. Also, a really good time of 27 without even having thralls. Do we get a unique? No. Never lucky. Oh my gosh, I just bought like 200 black chinchampas to try and do TOB, and we wiped, and uh, yeah, I lost all of them. They're gone. They're gone forever. Well, we absolutely planked at Maiden because we all have a lot to learn still. Especially me. I was the second one to die. I'll admit it. I'm not too prideful. But shout out to Uncomfy Pants and Tormelin for uh, doing these runs. It was very fun. All right. I'm about to make an absolutely giga brain move. I wish I could say I came up with it, but it was somebody on Reddit like a few weeks ago. And I'm sorry. I don't remember your name. I would totally give you a shout out. But I don't remember. So what I'm going to be doing is unimbuing my rings here. Uh, I, what is, is that what you do? Uncharge? Yes, refund the points. So I'm going to unimbue all my rings that I have imbued right now. And so I unimbued all of them and I got all my Nightmare Zone points back from that. Now we're going to go ahead and claim our combat achievement diaries. They all reset for some reason because of the new update. The only tier I had is easy. And so I technically haven't completed the hard and medium tier. So I'm going to have to go to Gommel to recomplete them. I wonder if he's going to give me the XP lamps again. Probably not. Uh, can I claim some rewards? Or not reclaim some rewards. Whoops. I uh, Combat achievements. I've completed a combat tier. Uh, like all the medium and all the hard ones. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like he's going to give me the XP lamps again. But now that we've done this, it costs half the amount of reward points at Nightmare Zone to imbue my ring. So let's go back and re-imbue them. So remember, I started this off with only like four or 500,000 Nightmare Zone points. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. We got almost a million Nightmare Zone points for free just by unimbuing them before I claim the Hard Diary. If you don't unimbue them before claiming the Hard Combat Diary, it will give you half points for unimbuing them as well. So uh, just a cute little trick you can do there. Also, yeah, I know I have a Ring of Suffering, but I just did not feel like buying more recoils. It wasn't worth it. So I did some easy clues. Not just 100. No, not just 200. Not even just 500. But 502 easy caskets, and we are ready to open them, except for one simple fact. I cannot use my music cape. Look at that teleport. It ain't working because they released a new quest, and I need to go get the new music. I think it's just this one song, the old ones, and then the rest, I think, are uh, Halloween. Yeah, they're from Halloween, and I forgot to get them this year, so they're still going to be red for God knows how long. So let's go do the new quest, and I'll rate the new song. All right, the quest was quite good. I quite enjoyed it. A very very build-up quest and also the song was magnificent it was very very creepy very spooky perfectly in line for a quest like this it was just really nice ambience music i gotta give it an eight out of ten very solid also 
we are quickly approaching 300 total quest points in old school runescape and i'm pretty excited for that all right now that our music cape is working again we can get going on these easy caskets but real quickly let's take a cute little peek at our easy collection log we have 3500 easy clues completed that's kind of gross. And we are just missing the Cape of Skulls and both pieces of the Monk's Robe G. We're pretty dry on a piece of the Monk's Robe G and technically past the drop rate of the Cape of Skulls, but because of the fact that there are four capes with the same drop rate. And I don't know how that works. My math is not that good. It's decent, but not that good. So let's get started on these easy clues. The nice thing about easy clues is you can just pump right through them. They have like a 1 in 50 chance to get a master. So we will be getting about 10 masters from this, I believe. But most of the stuff you get from easies is junk. Ignore that voice crack. But when you do get something that's worth money, it just feels so good. Like, like 2,000 gold, 1,000 gold, and then just randomly 130,000 gold. And you're just like, all right, I can get behind this. Oh, see, that's a good one. The Black Wizard Robe Top G. That's like a quarter million gold. Oh, that feels so good. And if you do these the Iron Man way, you can still complete like 25 or 30 easy clues an hour. Something like that if you're hyper efficient. And so you can actually make some pretty good money doing these. Oh, there's our first master clue, and uh, yeah, now I get to not open these caskets for like 30 minutes, which is, it's okay, but man, when are we getting stackable master clues? It's, it's what I want, and it's what I need. Master clue number one done. Let's get back to opening these easies. Yes, just one of them. All right, I'm done for the day. I've heard rumors spoken in the darkest corners that if you put on redemption before you open a clue scroll, you get exactly what you want in like the next 10 clues. It definitely works. It de it works. It works. Hey, we actually got an amulet of power trim. That's pretty good. That's only 600k now. Last time I did easies, it was over a mil, I think. Oh, the price just keeps going down. But it is a good fashionscape item, so I can't complain. I just hope that uh, I keep getting those because that's good money. Wow, we just got back-to-back -back like 150k clues. That's also good. I'm keeping redemption on. Oh my god, and now a blue wizard hat G. Look at the redemption method is good. Into a master clue. Master clue number two done, and we haven't gotten any super miserable triple steps. So I'm very thankful to Jagex for that. Although, the lack of new collection log slots so far is hurting quite a bit. We're a bit dry on getting a new one, if you ask me. I don't know if it's true, but if you ask me, that's what I'm going to say. Oh, wait, no! I got a master clue, and then I opened another one. That's so embarrassing. It's over. Everything's over. Deleting the account. These master clues have actually been pretty quick. I cannot complain about them at all. Oh, did you see it? Did you see it? The flared trousers, nearly three million gold. That is a huge ticket item from Easy's. Maybe one of the best items you can get from Easy's. I think the only one worth more than that is the ham joint. Actually, some of the mega rares are worth more, like the capes. But God knows that those are pretty rare. And the red beret. Ob Wait, is that actually worth something? What? I was joking. How much is that worth? 20k! Ooh, that is a really good clue. Ancient Robe Top and Black Kite Shield G. 200,000 gold, and it just looks clean. There's nothing better than a clue that's just all uniques. Oh, yes, yes, I gotta show this off every time we get it. The gold leather body, dude. <laughs> that is an item that somebody, like, drew. They drew that. Oh, I'm such a fool. I forgot to put Redemption back on. Come on. No wonder I'm not getting anything. Now that Redemption's on, though, we can quit fooling around. And you can just give me the Monk's Rope Top G right now. That, no. Oh, there's a Master. I did it again. I did it again. I opened one too many clues. I don't know what is wrong with me today. I'm just trying to rush through these. I just want to get my log slots so bad. That clue was a doozy, as you can tell by my inventory. Truly all over the place, but... You know what that means. Redemption on. Easy clue. We don't get anything. We haven't even seen a single uh, cape. Not even, you know, not just the one that we need, but just any cape in general, man. I just need a little, just give me a little hope, please. Actually, you know what the secret might be? It might be because it's using protect item. I gotta smite the caskets to get all of the goodies. Yeah, look at that. Coifs, back to back, and a ham joint. All right. Screw redemption. Smite is the method. I, mean, I don't know what to tell you. Smite, smite is the way to go. And there's a master clue, and I clicked again! That's three times! Three times this opening. Three whole clues that I have wasted. And we're almost halfway through this easy clue opening. Just a few more. Oh, let me open the game chest so you guys can see the crazy value on these clues. Absolutely maddening. And there we go, we're halfway through. No new uniques to speak of. Actually, kind of dark times, although we did get that ham joint and the amulet of power trim. So really, it's not all bad.
Wait, did you see that? <laughs> it was a firelighter only clue. That is amazing. Also, Black Wizard Robe Top G, one of the best items you can get besides those massive pulls. A quarter million gold, and it does just look so good. It's definitely worth the value. I mean, that, it just looks so good. It's been a good minute since we've gotten a master clue or anything interesting. It's probably because I turned Retribution on. I wanted to try it, but it's obviously not worth it. So if we throw a smite on, yep, Black Wizard Hat T, that's 160k. In the bank right there, first clue after turning Smite back on, uh, and the Bob shirt. And I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer here or anything, but it's been a long time since anything interesting has happened in these clues. Over a hundred of them, with just nothing. I mean, if I had just done like a hundred easy clue opening, and that's what I'd gotten from it, I'd be a little bit depressed. But you know what, we truck on, we're going to keep moving forward. We just got the black plate body T, and then the normal black plate body in one clue. That's the beauty of clues, you really never know what you're going to get. Unlike a box of chocolates. Why did Forrest Gump say that? Every box of chocolate I've ever seen says exactly what kinds of chocolate are in it. Dude, did you guys see that? Back to back to back black plate bodies. That is significant. That is massive for the account. Only a hundred clues left to... What was that? Just eight green fire lighters? That's it? That's a... <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not as bad as getting, like, two coifs or something, but it just looks so stupid. <laughs> it's just dumb. I mean, Easy Clues produce some of the silliest-looking screenshots that RuneScape has to offer, honestly. Oh, finally, a master clue. Something interesting. It was, like, 140-something clues between the last master clue and this one. So I will take it. Finally, we get to go run around the game, at least, instead of just standing at the bank. Only 50 left to go. Come on, please. Just let me see collection log slot unlock. Do the little square pop-up right here. Pretty please. God, I need it so bad. We haven't even gotten a single cape in this entire opening. And we're pretty decently dry on getting any piece of the monk's robe set. So, I mean, this is a little disheartening, especially because this clue right here, we pass over 4,000 easy clues without a single piece of monk's robe g that's pretty rough man that is pretty rough but we're gonna keep going because you know what we aren't babies over here on this channel we keep grinding only 10 clues left to go and we're gonna do the tradition we're continuing the tradition of spam click in the last 10 please surprise me show me the collection log slot pop up there pretty please anything at all no 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 actually we did get two coifs that's a pretty big win in my book wow 500 easy clues pretty bad besides the ham joint and the amulet of power and the flared trousers i mean we did get three of the most valuable items but i mean overall pretty disappointing just under 17 million gold in value although it didn't count 12 of the clues so we'll just call it 17 mil even how much did i spend on the implings though that's the question everyone wants to know so i spent i don't have the initial 10,000 i bought but we'll just assume the initial 10,000 i bought was around this price i got really unlucky on clue scrolls it took me 14,000 implings to get what I should have gotten in uh, 12,500. So not like super unlucky, but just a little bit. So I spent uh, probably about 59 mil in total on all of these implings, which is disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting. And we made just under 17 million gold from opening the caskets. And then I sold all the impling jars I got from this for about 8 million gold. So we'll uh, do a little math here. We lost about 34 million gold opening those 500 easy caskets. Although, to be completely fair, we did get a bunch of random loot here. I assume that this will all add up to maybe like a mil or two in extra cash. So it'll be more like we lost like 33 million gold pretty horrible except we do have six master clues these master clues could make me more than 34 mil we could make the money back let's go ahead and open them ah duplicate greater demon mask that is a little bit tragic let's keep going i mean this is master clues i don't know what you guys expect i mean seriously everybody talks about these things like they're awesome but they're horrible every single time genuinely Every single time. Except that time I got third age. That was pretty cool. <laughs> okay, 2.2 .2 mil from six masters is actually pretty decent. I won't lie. I'm pretty happy with that. We've actually got a few more caskets in the bank that I got from doing Konar Slayer. We got four elites and five hards. And I'm going to open these hards now just so I can get a fresh start for when I have to do God knows how many hard caskets y'all are going to make me do. Like I said on the last video, however many likes that gets, I will do a uh, hard clue for every 10 likes. So I'm not looking forward to that. It's a little scary. But we'll see if we can get anything good from these hards and elites. Maybe to make up for my dark sadness that we had from the easy clue opening please please just just give me something four elites elites are the best clue scroll tier i love elite clues come on baby we love elite clues oh that's not new i've already got the musketeer hat oh 
Glories are almost break even price right now for the six charge one and the uncharged one. So I'm going to go ahead and buy a couple thousand. I don't have a lot of GP. I can only afford like 4,000 of these. Yep. And uh, I'm going to go charge some glories. You know, let's go for it. Let's see if we can get that eternal glory. I think we're at about 90,000 charged right now, if my estimations are correct. So we're only about 10,000 off of hitting four times the drop rate. So why not? It'll be fun. I know you all love hearing this phrase, but here we go. Last inventory out of the 4,000 glories I bought. And we get more charged glories. All right, time to sell these and buy more because honestly, I think I want to go for the 100,000 mark or around 100,000. It could be more. It could be less. I've never kept exact track of this. And they never put a tracker in the game probably because they hate me. But, you know, that's okay. I forgive them. So let's go buy more glories. Well, these amulets of glory are taking absolutely forever to sell, so I decided to go through all my nests that I got from birdhouse runs, empty them out for the seeds, the nests, and then of course the rings. So I'm going to sell all of that and see how much cash we get. Uh, actually, maybe I should just price check it because it's going to get mixed up with the stupid amulet of glory cash. Almost 20 mil just from birdhouse runs. I don't know how many, like if this is like a month of birdhouse runs or what, but 20 million gold. That is insane. All right, I bought 3,000 more glories, and then when I'm done with these, hopefully these will be done selling, and I can buy a further 3,000, and then that will get me to the 100,000 charge glory mark. Honestly, I hope that I just get the eternal glory before I get to the 100,000 mark, although it would be pretty momentous to actually make it four times the drop rate on the eternal glory. I kind of don't want to be that guy. Also, if you guys have ever seen anyone that's more dry than me on the eternal glory, please let me know, because I've never seen anyone even remotely close, and honestly... I hope nobody else ever does come this close. All right, last inventory of this batch of 3K. Then we're just going to go buy 3K more. And baby, that will be 10,000. Do we have any churn? No, we don't have any glories if we're in charges. We're really doing a run with four glories. And you might notice I have less than 3,000. I did get PK'd. Okay, no, I don't want to talk about it. It was very emotionally damaging. They were wearing Santa's outfit. It brought up some repressed memories. Well, it's way later than I should be staying up, considering I have to wake up at 6 in the morning, but we don't need to talk about that. We need to talk about the fact that I have four more glories to charge, and after this, we will have passed 100, I mean, we probably passed it a long time ago, 100,000 amulets of glory charged with no eternal glory, you know, just to prove it. I don't know why I'd be lying about this. I don't have the amulet of eternal glory zero. And then we can do the funny thing where if you search my username, it comes up with the zero eternal glories. So funny, man. Shout out to Mon Flippy who left the team too soon. They should have uh, forced him to work there for the rest of his life. I like that guy. So anyways, I don't know what I'm going to do. I kind of feel like just sitting here and grinding this out until we get it because I hate not having it. This has been a big joke for like three years and I'm tired of it. But also, my God, 100,000 dry. Okay, you know what? I'm feeling stubborn. I want this stupid eternal glory. So we're going to go for it for at least one or two more days. And then uh, maybe I will just, you know, quit it forever. So I've bought just under 6,000 glories. It's all I can afford. I am seriously very cash poor. I might sell some inquisitors or something to be able to afford more of these. And I'm going to give like 2,600 of these glories to the unlocking RS account, which Dave is so fortunately and generously letting me use. And I will use it as my alt to help me run glories faster to the Fountain of Rune. Unfortunately, it does not have the uh, Wilderness Elite done. So I'll be using the Anacarl Teleport instead. But honestly, that's still pretty cool quick it's not a big deal so i think for every two trips i make with my main i can make one trip with that account and hopefully i don't get pk today using the alt account actually just saved me a couple hundred k in death costs like let's see how much it is like 300k since that account does not have the wilderness sword and i'm running it from anacarl i saw some dude staff of the dead mystic just standing there waiting for me and here we go there's all those like 6000 ish glories i just bought oh yeah baby no eternal yet i'm honestly starting to think my account might be bugged i mean think about it okay when you go on the collection log you type my username the eternal glory comes up and somehow through the spaghettification of the osrs code that has blocked me from getting the eternal glory it makes sense if you don't think about it <gasps> no way oh my god wait there it is it's real it's actually real oh my god i can't believe i'm seeing this oh we got the amulet of eternal glory oh thank god thank god oh dude oh my god i was i was literally about to log out within the next five minutes to go take a nap or something i'm so tired right now holy smokes we got it and it's 55 million gold <laughs> Dude, I'm so happy right now. It's actually over. It's actually finally over. So I think the final count 
is let me check how many more I had. I did six thousand before this. We were at one hundred six k, and then I've got eighteen hundred on this account, and so I've got about three thousand. So we're at about one hundred ten thousand. Glory's charged to get this stupid thing right here, and now we can go sell all of these godforsaken amulets of glory. And you know what this means? This means I never have to charge another glory again. I'm so happy right now. Like, seriously, look at this stupid thing. It's, it's, it actually looks really good. I like that dark shade of purple. Some of you might be curious, how much money did I make slash lose during this grind? Well, for the first about 60,000 glories I charged, it was actually pretty profitable to do this. I was making like 600 to 800 gold per glory that I charged. So it was over a million gold per hour. And honestly, I wish I'd committed back then because that is much better than it is now. Whereas you can see right now I'm losing about 200 to like 400 gold per glory charged, which is decent. Before, when I was doing this a few months back, it was like over a thousand gold lost per glory. So overall, I probably still profited from the glory charging because most of it I did when it was still profitable. And then, of course, with the eternal glory itself being worth over 55 mil, uh, this should end up being a pretty penny. I'm going to throw this in for 55 mil at 8 p.m. on December 16th. So if you're buying this glory on that day, you might have bought my amulet of eternal glory, and that is 54.7 million gold to the cash stack we've got almost 100 mil in the cash stack right now that makes me pretty happy and just the fact that i can see the slot filled in let's go look at it i can't believe i haven't even gone to look at it miscellaneous tab oh my gosh look at it it's so gorgeous man it is so gorgeous and we're actually pretty close to finishing the miscellaneous tab we've got a lot of really hard items still but just the fact that we've knocked out the eternal glory that gives me the confidence i need to just green this log here Wow, my first TOA back in quite a while. I probably haven't done TOA in one or two weeks. 70 kill count of expert mode and my new personal best for the challenge time and the overall time. Wow, that's actually pretty solid. So let's see. Do we get a purple for our PB? I always ask this. 4% chance. That's 1 in 25. And after that dry streak of the eternal glory, I feel like I deserve the shadow, you know? No? No, that's okay. It may not be a purple, but it is an elite clue and a pretty decent chest maybe not really magic seeds and blood essence is not a decent chest it's only 300k that is tragic but yeah i think at this raid level elite clues from toa are pretty close to one in ten that's really common so if i do get back into grinding this we should get a lot of elite clue scrolls which is cool and so i think i'm going to be ending the video off here i still am in complete shock that we got the amulet of eternal glory and i've been thinking about it and i do wonder if they're going to add other eternal versions of dragonstone jewelry in the future it's been many years but i do think it'd be pretty cool to get like an eternal ring of wealth an eternal skills necklace stuff like that i mean i know we kind of already have it in the poh and I really hope it doesn't come from the Fountain of Rune because if I actually have to go out there and charge more stuff, I'll probably quit the game. But just a thought, maybe add a cool little thing to a boss, you know, just consider it, Jagex. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate it if you left a like down below. Maybe even subscribe if you haven't and a snarky comment. I do love the snarky comments. It really does make my day when I get a notification on my phone and it's one of y'all saying something snarky. Anyways, I appreciate you all. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video where I have to do nearly a thousand hard clues i probably won't have them done in the next video it'll probably take me like a month or two to actually stack that many hard caskets but i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do my best i'll see you next time goodbye <laughs>